Yo, what is going on everyone in the XRP community? Hope you guys are having yourselves a fantastic day today as usual. And the SEC lawsuit against Ripple, it's already over. It's already over. They are done. They are destroyed. They have dug themselves the deepest hole imaginable and there is no way getting out of it. They have backed themselves into the most narrow corner imaginable. There is nowhere they can move. They can't do anything. And the best part about it is they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. And my God, guys, after you read this Twitter thread by John Deaton today with me on YouTube, oh my fuck, settlement has to be so fucking close. I'm talking less than a month because at this point, there's no reason for the SEC to continue fighting. They might as well raise the white flag and just surrender because there's nothing they can do. The only hope they have is hiding internal documents and emails, which I do not think they will succeed in. They are going to be released in transparency. In the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit, guys, if you're not excited about settlement right now, I'm telling you, get fucking excited because after this, after you read this Twitter thread, man, the XRP community has single-handedly taken down one of the most corrupt government agencies in history. More importantly, though, John Deaton, aka the XRP community lawyer, who rounded up 65,000 XRP holders. To get a voice in on the Ripple vs. SEC lawsuit. Guys, this has been one hell of a fucking ride, man. The SEC, when XRP was finally getting its breakout pump to 70, 80 cents after we sat at 20 cents for years, those motherfuckers attacked us at the right time. They fucking took our hopes and dreams away, man. Fucking 80% crash in three days. Uh, that was fucking brutal, man. They attacked us at just the right time, and I believe that was a planned attack, a team up. Of the SEC and the Ethereum Foundation making sure the Ethereum number two spot stays secured because XRP was always, always threatening it. XRP was always threatening Ethereum. So those motherfuckers teamed up with the SEC, took bribes, got false clarity, and they attacked the XRP community at just the right time to completely fuck us over. But guys, after you read this, you're going to have tears to your eyes. John Deaton is an amazing man, and this whole Twitter thread can be, in my opinion, shown in the court of law, in the Ripple vs. SC lawsuit, in the courtroom. Just this Twitter thread completely destroys everything the SEC was trying to argue. Guys, Ripple has already won the case. I believe in the next 30 days this case will be over. It has to be done. There, there's, there's nothing else for the SEC to do. The only thing they're doing is hiding documents right now. They're fucking guilty. They're guilty in plain sight. My God, guys. Buckle up. Grab a coffee. Grab a cup of tea. Grab a beer. I don't care what it is. Let's get into this. This is the ultimate proof right here. The lawsuit is over. All right. Again, this is six hours ago from John Deaton. Huge Twitter thread. Let's get into it. Prediction. The case against Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson is over. It was over the day it was filed. There's no way the SEC can meet its burden. The SEC must prove the two executives had actual knowledge XRP was a security or was reckless in not knowing. Guys, this whole Twitter thread is a chronological order of reasons why the SEC is fucking corrupt, man. And why they have no leg to stand on here. So in you know in order to prove recklessness, the SEC must prove a reasonable person would have known XRP was a security because it was so clear and obvious to anyone at that time. Let's review some of the evidence. October 2012 Perkins Co memo, it concluded XRP was not a security. A billion dollar international law firm 
concludes with Ripple, gives them legal advice that XRP was not a security, although they did admit small chance the SEC might disagree. Until April 2018, the SEC allowed staff, including enforcement lawyers, to trade and own crypto, including XRP, without any restrictions. And what I also want to know is, was there any SEC representatives or people tied with the SEC that took a major, major short position on an XRP just a day or hours before the lawsuit announcement? That's one thing I'm always so curious about. There's, you know, thousands of emails that they're trying to hide right now, dude. There could be all types of shit in there. So again, until April 2018, the SEC allowed the staff, including enforcement, enforcement to trade and own crypto, including XRP, without any restrictions. June 13, 2018, SEC legal memo analyzing uh, XRP is a security. SEC enforcement lawyers do not conclude XRP is a security because there's no enforcement recommendation made. June 14, 2018, Hinman's speech. Hinman said Ethereum is no longer a security because it's sufficiently decentralized. Since it can be argued the XRP is, the XRPL is at least as decentralized, if not more, it's reasonable to believe ongoing sales of XRP from 2018 forward were lawful. And again, got the proof down here. August 20, 2018, meeting between David Schwartz and Brad Garlinghouse with Clayton and Hinman. Brad yells out, Ripple's in purgatory because of the lack of clarity over XRP. Neither Clayton nor Hinman inform Garlinghouse or Ripple that they or the SEC believe XRP is a security. Coinbase goes to the SEC in January 2019 and informs the SEC it has concluded XRP is not a security and plans listing XRP the following month. The SEC said nothing to discourage Coinbase and XRP was listed in February 2019. This is because they didn't have an interest in completely destroying destroying the XRP price at this time. They weren't interested in it because it was not doing that much at this time. They wanted to attack us at the perfect time. Okay, because XRP is essentially an ETH killer. There's a big, big collusion here with ETHgate, man. Hashtag ETHgate. January 1st, 2020. Bailyard Inc., a financial investment firm, filed an ethics declaration with the SEC assuring the SEC that Bailyard would only trade digital assets generally accepted in the financial industry as non-securities, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP. So in, you know, January 2020, okay, this was, um, when was the ass of the Herb versus SEC lawsuit that was, you know, dis... December 2020, like way at the end. Yeah. Wait, was it? Dude, I don't know, man. My time was so messed up right now. It's gone by all so fast. But yeah, it was December 2020. So exactly about 11 months before the lawsuit. 11 months before the lawsuit, a, you know, a big financial investment firm files an ethics declaration with the SEC assuring that they would only trade digital assets generally accepted in the financial industry as non-securities. All proof in the pudding. Okay. In summary, the 2012 Perkins Co. opinion letter destroys the SEC's chances of proving Garlinghouse and Larson actually believed XRP is a security. Because the whole point here is they're trying to prove that they knew it was a security. They knew they were doing something wrong, but acted reckless when this was not the case. They were trying to be as careful as possible. Okay. If SEC enforcement lawyers, the experts who determine what is or isn't a security, could make the case XRP was definitely a security as late as 2018, there's no way it can prove Larson and Garlinghouse were reckless in 2013 or beyond. In fact, Ripple can prove the opposite by showing that it wasn't even obvious to the SEC that XRP was a security by offering this evidence. SEC's own enforcement lawyers couldn't make the case in 2018, the Hinman speech provided reason to believe XRP was in the clear because the reason for the, you know, quote, quote, the reason, you know, ETH wasn't a security was because of the decentralization. Well, you know, XRP Ledger does not have, you know, mining pools which make, 
you know, proof of work networks highly, highly centralized because everyone moves their equipment to the largest pool for the most consistent payouts. Okay, so if you're calling Ethereum decentralized, XRP is also decentralized, if not more. So the Hinman, you know, quote, opinion speech was also a reason to believe XRP was in the clear. Clayton Hinman didn't communicate XRP was a security during the meetings until four months before the lawsuit. The SEC allowed its staff to own or trade XRP without restriction up until 2019, and it allowed MoneyGram to sell XRP to retail holders through exchanges. Thus, Garlinghouse and Larson can prove they didn't believe XRP was a security. They can also prove the SEC itself wasn't convinced XRP was a security. The final nail in the SEC's proverbial coffin I mean, case is proving what most independent market participants believed. You prove that by offering the Coinbase and Bailyard evidence. Coinbase, with its sophisticated securities lawyers, concluded in 2019 that XRP was not a security and communicated that fact to the SEC and then proceeded to list XRP. If they would have seen a problem with it, they would have stopped Coinbase in their tracks. Billiard, a typical market participant, was very concerned about digital assets potentially being unregistered securities and therefore made clear to the SEC it would only trade digital assets generally accepted within the industry as non-securities. XRP, the defense rests. Mic drop. <laughs> Guys, the SEC's got fucking nothing, man. They've got nothing. I don't have anything else to say, but settlement within 30 days. It's got to be coming, and I'm enjoying the uh, big price action when that happens, guys. It's been a long, long journey in this war, but it's just about to be over. There's nothing they can do left. The last part of this lawsuit is just them claiming documents are privileged and emails are privileged. And, oh, no, 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 no. You know, Ripple can be transparent and give up all their documents and emails, but we're not going to do that. Though. We have privileged documents fucking guilty in plain sight hashtag ethgate my god guys settlement in 30 days thank you guys so much for the video today i'll see you guys in the next one